So let's proceed and save our user details in uh, Parse Cloud. And for that, uh, we will use um, save in background with block function of our uh, PF user. And uh, that's going to be a completion block. And uh, once this completion block uh, triggers, we're going to be provided with two objects, success and error. Uh, and just uh, like with the previous example, if um, there's everything is OK, then success will be set to true. But if there is an error that took place while saving user details and parts, an error uh, object will be populated with uh, some information and we can take localized description and display that description to user. So uh, let's do that. Let's check for an error object. Uh, and if it's not nil, we will display an alert controller and uh, log user out and return from that function. And I have prepared a little piece of code, which uh, first of all hides spinning activity indicator. Uh, because at this moment, it's going to be still spinning. And then we display uh, an error message using alert controller with the localized description. And then we lock user out and return again. Why? Because we could not save uh, user profile details in cloud, in parse cloud. And uh, we basically don't want user uh, with uh, an empty profile details. And but if there is no error object, if everything went well, then again, we need to uh, hide spinning activity indicator. And then we need to save um, username in uh, NS user defaults, because this is how we know that user is logged in. And when user starts mobile application again, or they terminate mobile application and start it again, uh, we do not ask user to log in again. Uh, for that, we uh, store their username and its user defaults. And then later in app delegate, we check uh, if um, username is exist. And uh, the very last piece of information um, after we stored username in NS user defaults, we want to take user to a protected page. And um, uh, we built user interface inside of app delegate. And um, because we are going to work with UI and all of this code that we've been writing now is uh, executing in background, we need to use, we need to dispatch an asynchronous task on the main queue now. And uh, so inside of, again, inside of app delegate, we have a build user interface function. So if I click on it, uh, if for some reason it doesn't see it. So if I go to app delegate, if I go to build user interface. Here we go. So uh, here we first check if a username exists. And if it does, then we create our uh, navigation drawer, we create main page, which is our protected page left side navigation menu right side. And then we wrap them into navigation controller and then we create a navigation drawer and then we set Windows root view controller to that navigation drawer. Okay, so um, this should be it for uh, this function. And we can run it and uh, test and see how it works. So let me run this application. Okay, my application is up and running and I can click on sign in with a Twitter button. I'm presented with a pop-up which uh, belongs to Twitter. I did not code this pop-up. So I'm asked to log in into my account. And here we, we go. I see Swift developer block, the name of my application I provided when I was creating a Twitter app and the domain name, which I also provided uh, during uh, while I was creating the um, Twitter app. So I will uh, log in with my uh, user details. And click on sign in. 
and I'm taken to sign in page and then sign in page displays activity indicator and um, everything went well and I'm taken to a protected page and I see my profile picture the Swift logo and I see the screen name of my uh, Twitter which is um, a Swift video blog and I can click on edit here and I can actually change it if I uh, want to this was our first name and um, last name so I can change Swift developer blog now to my first name Sergey and then I can change to uh, my family name Kargapolov and if I uh, want user um, if if I want to log in with my username and password I can actually set username and password as well like one two three and then hit save and profile successfully uh, updated and I can click on done everything is updated and I can sign out and I can sign in with my um, uh, screen name and uh, my newly created password here we go let's try signing out and sign in again with a Twitter account now because I'm uh, authorized with Twitter it simply takes me to a protected page right away so I can sign in with a Twitter account and I can sign in with my uh, uh, screen name and my password okay so this is it our uh, sign in with a Twitter account works